The introduction to Our America was written by David Isay, who was also the producer on Ghetto Life 101 and Remors. Here are a few excerpts from that introduction. From the beginning of this project, it has been my intention to act as the vehicle through which the voices of young people growing up in poverty might reach a larger public. I sent out letters to social service agencies and high schools all over Chicago asking for help in finding subjects. Young people living in fairly typical circumstances who were atypically expressive and introspective. I received a lot of callbacks from agency heads, community activists, teachers, and social workers suggesting young people to work with. If they sounded promising, I'd ask to have the kids call me collect. I talked to a lot of good kids and a lot of people who cared about them a great deal. The courage these kids show is incredible, one teacher told me. Nobody's listened to these kids for years. Who wants to listen to a poor child? But these kids want to talk. They want to tell their stories. I have 28 kids and 28 hands shot up when I told them about this project. They all immediately started writing their autobiographies for you. They all want to be heard. Lee Allen and Lloyd were insightful, intensely curious, meticulous observers, a poignant mixture of little boys and adolescents wise far beyond their years. Every few days, the kids would get on the bus and ride, just to get a break from the ghetto, Lee Allen told me. They'd talk nonstop. They had been doing it for years. Lee Allen and Lloyd had discovered their own strategy for coping with the devastation all around them and staving off the boredom and depression, mop it all up and discuss it endlessly, break it down, Look at it from all the angles, quiz each other for details, collect information, laugh about it sometimes. Don't let anything slip by unnoticed. They are, without question, remarkable young men. But they are remarkable kids growing up around many other kids who didn't get the opportunity to tell their stories. I'd like to think that Our America stands as a testament to the potential of all of these young people. As another reminder that behind the walls of poverty and neglect, live real children who laugh and struggle and dream and hurt and love. There's a saying that keeps coming to mind. Just give a kid something, a microphone, or a camera, or a paintbrush, or a computer, and watch what he can do. Watch what he can do.